Welcome to another Businessology lesson. On this lesson, we're going to be talking about grading your clients. And you've probably heard that, grade your clients, A, B, C, D, right? Or one, two, three, four. Uh, typically, we hear A, B, C, D. And so you hear that and you go, why do you grade your clients? Well, let's talk about uh, basically an agency is built really with a client base. So the client base is the it's this thing that puts revenue into the company. That So the choice of who those clients are is key. Um, in agency growth consulting that we do a lot of, a lot of times we find there is an unintentional uh, built client base. That is, they the company just let any client in the door. Uh, and that's not good because that client base is all you have to work with. So typically when we work with an agency and we're, we're going through this growth you know, issue and they're, they're struggling. We want to grade the client base because the client base typically is not what they intended it to be. So accidental growth is not good growth. Growth is always meant to be intentional. So we'll grade a client base. And you could say to an owner of an agency, you could say, how are your clients? Are they pretty good? And that that's just so arbitrary. They could say yes or no. Um, so what we do is we try to get a little bit more scientific, a little data-driven uh, analysis. That's going to help us know, is this client base healthy? Is it struggling? Can it produce revenue? Will it grow with us? Will it not? Do we have to change it? Do we have to tweak it? Uh, what parts of it are not good? So we'll actually have a an agency list out every single one of their clients. We would love to list that plus their revenue and any other data we have, like um, you know how much time we spend on them, uh, and then we'll start assigning by client an A, B, C, D grade. And so you might go, well, how do you determine the parameters of the A, B, C, D grade? And those are alignment parameters, basically. So you're trying to figure out, is this client aligned with our purpose? And another way to say that is, does the client believe the same things we believe? That is, do they want to receive service in the same way that we want to give it? That starts to be alignment. And when you have alignment and a client base, you start to have a very, very strong base that starts to produce more and more money for the company. And it's you start to trust each other so that the, the company wants to lead this base in a way to help all those clients. And the clients trust that company. So they're aligned in their beliefs. So you grade A, B, C, D based upon alignment parameters. So let's talk about the alignment parameters that we use. So there are four we like uh, people to think about. Now, these four do not, uh, they don't go with the A, B, C, D. So basically what we're doing is we're saying, we're gonna give you four parameters by which you think about alignment. And when you think about those, go to each client in your client base and give it an A, B, C, D. Uh, and so the A is highly aligned, right? So put an A beside the client that is highly aligned. They, that is, they want to receive service in the same way we want to give it. We're aligned. B is somewhat aligned. C is often not very aligned. And then D is not aligned at all. So that's the grading exercise you're going through when you're doing client grading based upon alignment. So what are the alignment parameters? They are this, the belief same page. That's one parameter you can think about. That is, they believe the same thing, so their values start to be the same. Uh, that is, you can match up some core values, or you can see that they really appreciate some of the care that that agency likes to give to the clients. Uh, so this parameter, I'm going to read these parameters to you. This parameter suggests that the client trusts you and is aligned with what you believe about your service. So that's parameter number one when you're trying to figure out how to grade your clients, A, B, C, D. The second one is clientship. Uh, this is a word we made up, clientship. That's basically helping the client to understand that you have a job to do also. Uh, so often when clients hire uh, some professional, technical, creative agency, the client sometimes uh, misunderstands and thinks that agency is going to do everything for them. It's like, Hey, you just, you, I hired you. I paid you. You do everything. And that's actually not how great service works. So we try to make clear with our client base that they have to participate in clientship. That's one of the alignment parameters we're going to use to grade our clients. And that basically means it suggests that the client is collaborative 
and maintains and owns their own role in the relationship with you. That is, they're easy to work with. They show up for meetings. They get back to you. They give you the information you ask for. Uh, they know that they are invested and focused and part of their own success by hiring that agency. So that's B, clientship. Three is value consumption. And so this is one we don't often think about a lot, but a lot of times you want a client, we say to our clients, you have to consume the value of what we produce for you. And basically what that means is you're paying us to do something, and when we produce it for you, you you need to be changed by it. You need to leverage it. You need to use it for your growth. You need to change. You need to go put things into place that we've just taught you through some of our financial advisory work. So value consumption is where you don't want a lazy client um, coming to you and saying, you do everything for me. And then when you do the thing for them, they go, eh, thanks. And they stick it in a drawer or they just don't ever use it. That means that client is not consuming the value of your output. And why do we put that as one of our value or one of our alignment parameters? We do that because long-term, if a client constantly does not consume the value of what you're putting out, they're going to eventually find you to be not worthy of an expense, right? They're going to go, why am I paying you? I'm not growing. Nothing's happening. Um, and you, you find out that they're actually not implementing a lot of the things that you're doing for them. And so value consumption is one of the four alignment parameters we use to, to grade and give a client an ABCD alignment grade. And then the fourth one is profitable. This one makes sense. You want what you do for a client to actually be profitable in that you priced it correctly so that the client's paying you enough to justify you putting in the expense to deliver that value to that client. And sometimes that profitability is on us as firm owners, agency owners. We got to make sure we're pricing things based upon what the client said they want. So, so that's the basis of alignment. Let's talk about it again. So uh, just some main principles. Why do we grade a client base? It's so that we can scientifically with some kind of data it's still a little bit arbitrary, but we want some kind of data telling us how the health of our client base. That's what we're trying to do. Because if it's in our head, it doesn't help us much. So we get in on a spreadsheet, list the clients, and assign grades A, B, C, and D. And if you do it with other data, like their revenue, you can start to sort it. And then we can ask questions like, does most of your revenue come from clients that are aligned at a, a grade of D? Well, that's bad, right? Because <laughs> you have most of your client base sucks and <laughs> you don't like them. And yet they're the ones that provide more of your revenue uh, than anything else. Those kind of things start to become key. So we're trying to get some data and science to grade a client base. Uh, and so we're also trying to figure out, um, you know, how do we do it? Alignment is the key that we use to align a client base. Uh, basically, do they believe the same things that we believe? Uh, and then we gave the four key parameters uh, that we use when we're trying to determine alignment, which is belief in same page, clientship, value consumption, and profitability in that client base. I hope that helps. Thanks for joining us on a Businessology lesson.